Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing about urinary system, anatomy and physiology for medical coding. This video is completely made for the candidates who are preparing for their interview so that it will be really helpful for you when they ask you to explain about a system because it is not a detailed explanation. It is very short and comprised. So let's get into the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with Danya where we simplify medical coding and healthcare concepts for you. In today's video, we are diving deep into the urinary system, one of the most complex and vital system in our body and a crucial part of medical coding. If you are preparing for your CPC exam, you can go through this also. First, we have to start with the definition. The urinary system, also called as renal system, is responsible for removing waste and excess fluids from the body in the form of urine. It also helps in regulating blood pressure, electrolytes and red blood cell production. Then you have to talk about the main parts of urinary system. Main parts include two kidneys, two ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Next you have to explain E functions of urinary system the main functions are it filters and remove waste from the blood maintain fluid and electrolyte balance regulate blood pH control blood pressure via hormones stimulate red blood cell production via erythropoietin produce store and eliminate urine now we can see the organ locations kidney is located in the upper posterior abdomen one on each side of the spine Ureter is a tube that runs from kidney to the bladder. Bladder is located in the pelvis. Urethra runs from bladder to outside of the body. Next, physiology. How it work? First, filtration. Filtration in the glomeruli of the kidneys. And reabsorption is taking place. Essential substance return to the blood. Secretion is a third uh, function. Additionally, waste secreted into the tubes. Finally, excretion. Now we can explain each parts. Kidney. Kidney is a bean shaped organ that filters the blood, contain millions of nephrons uh, that is a functional unit, control electrolytes level, pH and blood pressure, secrete renin and erythropoietin. Then the external structure of the kidney is renal capsule is the outer covering that protects the kidney. Renal hilum it is a central area where the blood vessels, nerves and ureter enter or exit. Third is cortex and medulla it is a main tissue layer inside the kidney. Renal cortex. Renal cortex is outer layer, contains glomeruli and proximal distal tubule, site of blood filtration. Renal medulla, it is the inner region of renal pyramids, handles reabsorption and secretion in the urine formation process. Renal pyramid, cone shaped structure in the medulla. Internal part, renal column tissue between the pyramids extension of the cortex providing structural support renal papilla tip of each pyramid urine drains into the minor calyces here minor and major calyces collect urine from the pyramids transmit urine to the renal pelvis next comes renal pelvis renal pelvis is a funnel shaped reservoir collects urine and passes it to the ureter ureter tube that carries urine from the renal pelvis to the bladder Next is nephron. Nephron is a functional unit of the kidney. Each kidney contains about 1 million nephrons. Main part are glomerulus and Bowman's capsule, proximal tubule, loop of Henle, distal tubule and collecting duct. Next ureters explanation. The ureter are two muscular tubes each about 25 to 30 centimeter long. They contain each connect each kidney to the urinary bladder. Their primary function is to transport urine from the renal pelvis of the kidney to the bladder. Next function of ureter, it carry urine continuously and one way from kidney to the bladder. Prevent backflow with one way valves at the bladder entry point. Use gravity and peristalsis to move urine efficiently. Next 
next urinary bladder urinary bladder is a hollow muscular organ that stores urine until it is ready to be expelled from the body it is located in the pelvic cavity just behind the pubic bone bladder opening and the region trigon triangular area and the base of the bladder between the opening of the ureter and urethra common site for infection internal urethral orifice is the opening from bladder to urethra urethric orifice entry point where the urine enters from the ureter urethra narrow tube that carries urine from the bladder to outside shorter in female longer in male also involved in ejaculation in males common disease conditions are urinary tract infections kidney stone or renal calculi chronic kidney disease ckd acute kidney injury aki incontinence involuntary leakage of urine cystitis inflammation of the bladder glomerular nephritis inflammation of the kidney filters common procedures are urine analysis that is a lab test for urine sample cystoscopy viewing the bladder catheterization insertion of the tube dialysis filtering in the filtering blood lithotripsy breaking of kidney stone nephrectomy surgical removal of kidney urethroscopy viewing of the ureter summary the urinary system maintains homo- homeostasis by removing waste and balancing fluid made up of four parts kidney ureter bladder urethra play a role in the blood pressure regulation and hormone production common conditions include uti stone and kidney diseases procedures from diagnostics to surgical treatment so that's all about the condition that wraps up on our uh, overview of the Uh, urinary system anatomy and physiology mastering these concepts not only help in the medical coding but also give you confidence during the exam thank you for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you so much take care bye bye